welcome back to another Squish Hunt video. This is probably day four, I think. It's the last day, but technically tomorrow is the last day because we're going to be shopping as well on the drive home. But let me get back inside because it's really loud outside. Someone like shot something. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'm super excited. We're going to go to Five Below. The grand opening is actually canceled, so we're going to go to another Five Below that's like 20 miles the opposite direction. It's pretty far away. However, they always have some great things, and it's near a bunch of like TJ Maxx's, Burlington, etc. So that'll be super fun. I hope you guys will enjoy. All right, our last Five Below. Let's hope they have the squish pens. You guys, I never thought I would find them, but look at them. They're hiding over here. Oh my gosh. So they have Fifi the fox, and she's super squishy. They have two of her. Look how beautiful she is up close. And then they do have their bios on the back, which is cool. And then they also have Winston the owl. He is adorable. Oh my gosh. And again, also has his bio. Sadly, they did not have Cameron the cat though. Either way, I was really happy that I found two of the three and this is me awkwardly trying to film. I hate filming in public. Yay, oh my gosh. And then it's already checkout time, you guys. I cut out a lot of these clips just because I already filmed a whole separate Five Below like Vegas video. If you guys have yet to see it, it will be linked down below. But this is everything that I got. The pens were actually only $3.25 each, so I was really excited about that. Oh my gosh, and now on to the next door. Well, I'm pretty excited. All right, you guys, the next stop is Burlington, and it's conveniently right next to Five Below. At first, I did not think I would find anything at all, but all I had to do was go down the other aisle and I found the bunny dog toy. And then they did have a few Valentine 8 inches left, like this walrus, obviously the bunny, and then the dragon. She is so cute, don't you guys think? And then they also had a unicorn in the back that says, embrace your kindness. I think my favorite of this bunch is the dragon. Even though she's adorable, I'm not going to get her because I'm already bringing home way too many Squishmallows this trip. Also, the walrus was adorable. She actually might be my favorite. I don't know. So these were all the ones that I found. Next stop, Marshalls. If you guys saw the separate Marshalls Squish Hunt from Vegas, you guys already know what I'm going to find. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the? Yeah, obviously I was trying hard not to cuss on camera, but holy crap. Like, what? Did I just find a 16 inch Ronnie? For $16, it's Ronnie. I'm <laughs> I was overwhelmed. I literally cannot believe this. Did you guys saw that, right? What the hell? Oh my god. I was so happy that I came here because I found Ronnie. Oh my gosh. They have so many good ones here. I'm literally dying, you guys. I cannot believe this. Look how cute this Tiffany is. Oh my gosh, and little Francis, and a little dino, I cannot believe it. I cut out a bunch of clips, obviously, because there was a whole separate video, but oh my god, they had so many Squishmallows here. All of the Valentine squads, it seemed, and then obviously the farm squad. I was debating on getting this 5-inch Francis, but I did not. Of course, I grabbed Ronnie. Oh my gosh. Put him back on the shelf so I could film that clip for you guys, but ah! I also found a little cupcake, which I kind of want. I kind of want the cupcake. She says something different. This one says sweet, and the smaller one is different. I might get her. And then they have a little version of Aleka. I'm definitely going to grab her. Super excited that they had these guys as well as Ronnie. I mean, Ronnie. They have Ronnie, you guys. I literally died. And then I found this cute Australian shepherd doggy. And I noticed he is a bit different than his 12-inch counterpart for whatever reason. Now I have to decide between the kitty and the doggy, and even though the cat is super cute, I chose the dog. Here's the evolution of my cart. So I started out with these ones, and then I swapped out the 5 inches for these 5 inches. Final cut, I chose the dog instead of the cat, and now time for checkout, you guys. Still completely unbelievably shocked that I found Ronnie. Like, what the heck? I didn't even know they were selling him there, but alas, woohoo! Super great score. Okay, next stop is TJ Maxx. Let's hope we have as good luck as we did at Marshall's. Okay, let's see if it beats Marshall's. Okay, so obviously nothing's gonna top Ronnie unless I found like the Patty Hug Me or any cow hug me. But they just have the same ones they had there, except they do have cute little jelly cat ones. A detox and revive bottle. They're adorable. Look at that. Little jelly cats. I don't collect these guys, but I kinda want to. 
They're so cute. Look at them. I did not get them, so I left them sitting over here next to each other. Goodbye, my loves. Oh, well, it was a fail. All right, you guys, so the final stops tonight will be I'm walking the strip. You guys will see. I'm going to go to Target, Burlington, Marshalls, and Ross. They're all, oh, and Walgreens. They're all, like, super close to each other, and literally it's, like, 10 minutes away from me, not even, so like just walking distance so i'm super excited hopefully we can find something cool and yeah let's go all right you guys so my hotel is right behind me and you can already see the walgreens right there so i'm super excited it's really close all right our first stop is walgreens and it's super stormy as per usual i never find any squishmallows at this walgreens oh well i mean there's really never anything here but might as well check because it's like right there as you guys can see, the next stop is super close, so time to check Target! Aw, oh, look, it's Bullseye! Okay, so last year they had a 20 inch Pegasus and a 16 inch Mara the Pineapple, and that was the only squish I found in Vegas that whole trip, which was crazy. But they had it here, next to these guys, but they don't have any more Squishmallows, so that's okay. Fail! As you can see, they're literally all right next to each other. Our next stop is Burlington. Some stores you have to go up the escalator, and some stores you have to go down the escalator into the store. Um, there's like hardly any toys, and like also the last time I was here, they had like a bunch of Valentine stuff. That's all the toys they have. Like, dang. So yeah, last time I was here, well maybe it wasn't last time, but the time before that, I found like a bunch of the Valentine's squish, so I don't know. So, so far it's been kind of a fail at all the stores, but oh well. Fail again. Okay, next stop is Ross. And for this one, we have to go up the escalator into the store. And look at this super cute Ross Vegas sign. Oh my gosh. Also, this Ross has two levels. Like, I have to go up another escalator to look for the toys, and there's no squish at all here, so totally disappointing. I mean, I figured they wouldn't have any, like, because they don't even have a toy section, but anyways, let's go to Marshalls. Does this count as a toy section? Either way, nothing here either. And yet another fail! Now we're right alongside New York, New York, and our last stop on this trip is Marshall's. So you can take the escalator, but I'm just going down the stairs. And here it is, it's a really big Marshall's. All right, so they do have a few. They have this little elephant five inch, Mila. Oh, she is so cute. I've been looking for an elephant, so I might grab her. And then they also have the schnauzer and a different schnauzer as well, super cute. Mostly just the schnauzers, and then they also have this dog from the Valentine's dog squad, I'm assuming. Super cute. I love his little hot chocolate. I'm going to put him back, and I'm going to grab Mila, I think. I literally can't find any squish show. I've been looking this whole time, and I haven't been able to find any except for, like, at Party City. But I did find the elephant. I don't know if I'm going to get her, though, but she's really cute. And yep, I ended up buying her. Of course I did. I, can, I can't resist them, you guys. It's literally a problem. I took the escalator back, and look at you guys. We're right next to the Coca-Cola store, as well as the M&M store. But sadly, they're both closed. But still a pretty minor haul, but still pretty happy that I didn't walk out empty-handed. And you guys, look how massive this Coca-Cola bottle is. That is so cool. Also, I usually check out this CVS, but you guys, I have to walk all the way down the street to cross the street to go over to there, so I'm just gonna skip it. And there's our hotel. Whoa, there was lightning, I didn't film it. All right, so we're back at the hotel. I didn't hit record fast enough, there was lightning over there. And it's kind of starting to rain. You guys can't see it, but it is. Look at the rain on the window, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it makes everything outside look so much prettier and shiny. I love it. All right, you guys, so we're back and look at everything we got. So today was crazy. The best day, I think, of the whole trip. And of course, it was the last day. Here is all the Squishmallows i gotten so far in the last few parts. And now, the finale. Well, there's still another day of hunting. But literally, I got the pens from Five Below that I wanted. And then I got the massive Ronnie, which is crazy, and then some cute babies. And then I got this guy from Marshall. So it's crazy. I'm so happy. 
now. Oh my gosh. So here is all the Squishmallows that I got in the Vegas Squish Hunt. Oh my gosh. And this little guy fell. And Ronnie. I literally cannot believe it. I am so happy with what I got. Don't forget to let me know down below which one is your favorite. Okay, you guys, it's the last final day. We're leaving Vegas in about an hour. And here is my squish haul. I managed to shove them all in the Marshall's bag. Then I have to carry Ronnie separately. Now he's all safe. All right, you guys, it's finally the last day. I look really ugly today. It's just a travel day. But we're gonna go to Cracker Barrel and then stop at a mall, which usually has like claw machines. But other than that, it's basically not much else to do today besides go home, but it's gonna be super fun and I'll see you guys when I get to Crack Barrel. Time to leave. I thought this was a cool shot of us leaving Vegas. Also, I wanted to show you guys my favorite hotel, the Luxor. Oh, I just love Egyptian culture. All right, you guys, our first stop today is Cracker Barrel. Oh my gosh, Maurice, he's one of my dreams. I've always wanted one of the classic moose. He's so cute. And then look, you guys, they have a new version of Jason. He has like a black mane instead of gray one. Sadly, no Halloween squash. So I really want the new Halloween squash or the new clips because they have like a little armadillo clip. But sadly, I don't see anything yet. You guys, look at their cute display of all their squishmallows. They have the plush and then the mystery squishville and the clips, so cute. I did not find the armadillo one I was looking for. Very sad, sad times. But the new Jason was super cool find, I think. Didn't know that they were making him. I do like his black mane a bit better. Then they have little five inch cookie here. And they also had a new Dalmatian from the new squad. I did kind of think of getting him, but I did not. Super cute though. I also love this new butterfly. I think she's a Cracker Barrel exclusive. And then they have Anastasia here in a bigger size. I really love her colors a lot. They have the little shark. He's also new. And then they also have a 12 inch Monica. So cute, but I already have her in a clip form. They had a lot of axolotls here. That was super cool. Let me know down below which was your favorite squish that they had here. Also, as you see, they had a bunch of them hidden behind the others. I figured I would show you guys their Halloween section. As you can see, they have no Squishmallows. Over here, they have nothing. Super cute decorations, but no Squish that I can see, which is really disappointing. I'm really looking for the new Halloween Squish, and this looks like maybe the basket they would have been in. Oh well, fail on the Halloween Squish. So my grandma bought me the moose. I'm super excited because he's been a dream of mine. Yay! Well, I went in looking for the Halloween squish, but I came out with one of my dreams. So thank you so much, Cracker Barrel. Look how cute he is. Ah, so now we are finally starting our trip back home, and I'm so happy I grabbed him. And this is his squad. I am still looking for the owl Nikita. She's adorable. Okay, guys, the final stop is the mall. Now we're in like an abandoned mall um, and they have some Squishmallows, like a little Monica. Look at that. She's so cute. I don't know if I should try to get them or not though. But they are so cute. I can't believe there's a little tiny five inch Bigfoot in there. I would love to get her in a five inch because I have her in an eight inch. Okay, you guys, I'm going to do it. Do it for the vlog, right? I'm going to put in a dollar and see what we can do. <laughs> And that's exactly what I expected. Yeah, it's a fail. I, if I can't pick that one up in the best spot, I can't pick up Haley in the worst spot. So it's like really, really loose claws, sadly. But oh well. Also though, on the other side, they do have a little unicorn, eight inch. That's about it. So sadly, it's a fail, but super cute that we saw the Bigfoot in here. That's so cool. Alright you guys, so I'm back home obviously and I'm super excited to show you guys the final haul of what we found in the last part of the Vegas Squish Hunt. So of course if you guys have made it this far and still haven't seen the first three parts, they will be linked as well as linked in the comments. So let's get into the review real quick. Okay then, so this is the haul from day four, or should I say part four since it was day four and five, and since I already reviewed 
four of these guys in the separate squish hunt video where I found Ronnie. I did a whole separate video on that because he was just so special. So I'm not going to review Aleka, Kimmy, Raylor, or Ronnie because they're all in that video if you guys want to check out that review. Just to save time, I will just review Maurice and Mila. So let's get into it. I am going to talk about Ronnie real quick though because obviously I was totally beyond shocked that he was there. I did not know that they were selling this squad at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and those places. So $15.99 for a 16 inch Ronnie. Crazy. These guys go for like $60 to $90 on Mercari and he's literally pristine condition and he is so perfect. I'm so happy he's part of my squad now and let's move on. All right, you guys. So we did get Mila from Marshalls. Her tag is upside down. She was $4.99 and I do actually have this Mila. I got her from Walmart about a year and a half ago, but I did want a little five inch elephant and this one is a Valentine's version with the hearts. So I decided to pick her up. I think I will either keep the bigger size Mila or give it to a friend. But I don't know why I just couldn't resist her in this little 5 inch version. I am always looking to downsize. So here's her squad. I actually already have that super cute little gnome. Here is her bio if you guys were interested. Her tag is a bit messed up, but oh well. I think she's adorable. I really love her rainbow, almost pastel, like ombre ears and tummy. Super adorable and her little winky face. And elephants remind me of my late great aunt, so I couldn't resist her. I definitely had to grab her. And the final squish in today's video that I got was Maurice, oh my gosh. So like I said before, he has been one of my dreams. I do have another moose, Bane. I got him from Fred Meyer when I went to Oregon a month or so ago. His name is Gregor and he is adorable, but I wanted to find his original form and I finally did. He was the last one from his squad there, which was kind of surprising to me. I did kind of wish to get all of them in five inches, but if anything, I really just want Nikita mostly. I do have her in hug me form, but she would be so cute this size. But here's Maurice. As you can see, they're totally different. I am just so happy that I found him. I just walked in and saw him sitting there and I was like, okay, I'm going to put him behind the counter so we can go eat breakfast and then I can get him and no one will steal him while I'm sitting down and eating. And then when I was searching after we ate, my grandma paid for the bill as well as grabbed this guy for me as a little surprise. So thank you so much. He is adorable. I always say I love the brown colors and neutral colors. And as you can see, I really do. And I'm so happy. I have another little brown guy to add to my collection. Ah, he's so cute and simple and look at his little tail. I totally want this guy in a clip form. Oh my gosh. So that was our final Las Vegas squish hunt haul and review. Let me know down below which one is your guys' favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed even though it's been about two weeks since I've gotten back from Vegas. I've just been busy doing things around the house etc and also uploading other videos in between. But if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below your favorite squish. Not just of the ones that I got today, but of just any of the ones that you guys saw in this video. Let me know down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see the next video, which will be a squish hunt from when I'm going to visit my friends. That'll be super fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in that video. Bye! <laughs>